Last week we tried the exquisite but stupidly loud Zonda Chinque Roadster. Now if you thought the Roadster was the loudest Zonda Pagani make, no, check that out. This is the most extreme version of the Zonda, the R. Built exclusively for track use, it has been comprehensively re-engineered to make it lighter and stronger than the road car. Let's go and have a look at some of the details. First thing to mention, on the side of the door, 647, that's its Nürburgring lap time. Pretty impressive. Now the engine, unlike the road cars, is a six litre race engine and it's producing 750 horsepower. That's with restrictors and without them it can produce as much as 900 horsepower weight, about 1,075 kilos dry. And the gearbox is a six speed but proper dog box. I am very excited to have a go. So we've got Andrea Montemini here who helped Pagani develop the car and you're going to show me how it works. How do you drive it? It's a piece of cake. It will be easy. It will yep. be very easy. We, we try to, do, to make the car as easy as possible for, mm -hmm. the, for the customer but it's also quick and reliable. This is the the this control. is the traction control. Exactly. Okay. Obviously, uh, we will keep in a, in a medium average. Yes, good. For you. Remember, the traction control is helping you to put down the maximum uh, power as possible yeah. at that moment. Okay. What's it like in a pro on a proper circuit through fast corners? To the fast corners, I think is very very nice downforce, very nice setup. And we went over two Gs on uh, lateral Gs uh, downforce. Yeah. Just remind me, how much is this car? To buy? Uh, I think it's 1.5 million plus tax. Plus tax. Obviously. I guess, more or less, but Mr. Pagani will be more. More than happy to uh, <laughs> discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. As soon as I pull away, it's obvious recording any in car commentary is going to be a struggle. My voice simply can't compete with the sound of a completely unsung Mercedes V12. Instead, this next bit of footage quite aptly describes what over 600 brake horsepower per tonne feels like. If you watch my eyes, you'll get an idea just how much I'm concentrating. The runway here at Modena is only 800 metres long, allowing room to brake and turn around. That's just 500 metres for acceleration, but more than enough for the Zonda R to comfortably exceed 150 miles an hour. Beyond the ludicrous performance, what's clear even from a short drive is that the R is wonderfully well sorted. There's linearity and feel, the steering is sensational, the brakes well modulated and the gearbox, although brutal, works better than the Cinque's. Clearly the R is not a car to take liberties in. It will, after all, lap the Nürburgring faster than a Ferrari 599XX. But at the same time, it's approachable and enjoyable. It's at this point I discover that you can make a few corners out of the taxiways and, I apologise for this, get a bit overexcited. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah. With both the Cinque Roadster and this, the Zonda R, Pagani is showing that despite the fact they've only been producing cars for just over a decade, they're now right up there with the best from Ferrari, Lamborghini and the rest of the world's supercar manufacturers. Yeah.